So if you are watching this video, it means that you are either using a smartphone, a smart TV or a PC. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are connected to the internet and you are exchanging information over the internet. Now this video happens to be in the public domain. So anybody with an internet connection can watch it. But imagine this was a one-to-one -one video conference between you and me. Would you be happy if somebody else was listening to us? Well, that is what we mean by data privacy. We want our data to be private. And there are plenty of technologies, including some very high level mathematics that goes into ensuring that your data remains private. However, just the way it is not necessary to understand a combustion engine or what exactly does pressing of a clutch do in a car, we don't need to understand the inside out of these technologies and mathematics to ensure that our data is private. But just the way it is very important that in a car you understand the bare minimum basics. For example, uh, you should at least know uh, when to change the engine oil. You should know how much air pressure to maintain in the tires or the wheels of your car. The same way when it comes to data privacy, there are some minimal basics that we should all be aware of. So in this video and many others which I hope to make in the future, I intend to cover some very basic topics that I feel each one of us should be aware of, especially in today's day and age where almost every aspect of our life is connected online. So let's begin with the most basic concept, which is uh, encryption. So let's start. So what you have to imagine is there are two people. There's Alice and there is Bob. Alice wants to send a message to Bob. Let's call it secret for lack of better ideas. But for all we care, it could be a bank password uh, that she is sharing with Bob. Now, Rob the robber can easily tap that communication and see the secret message that Alice is trying to send to Bob. So how do you prevent uh, this? What can Alice do to make sure that only Bob sees the message? Well, first of all, you have to appreciate that unless Bob is in the same room as Alice, there is no way that uh, she can ensure that the communication only reaches him. As long as it is on the internet or even a text message, it is going to fly all over the world and anywhere Rob could sit and try to hack that message and read it. So the only thing that she can do is to encrypt the message. So what exactly is encryption? Well, in encryption, we take our plain text or the text that we can easily understand and transform it into a coded form or into a cipher, what we call a cipher text or an encrypted text so that uh, it is harder to understand. So one simple example of how encryption works is the famous Caesar cipher or the shift cipher. So what happens here is that you have the English alphabet, for example, and you have to choose a number, let's say three. And then uh, whenever we encounter a letter in our actual message, we are going to replace that letter with the letter that comes three places afterwards. So for example, A, uh, one place shifted will give B, another shift will give C, another shift will give D, so A will be replaced by D. Similarly, B will be replaced uh, by E. And uh, what happens to uh, a letter like X, where you shift two places and you've already reached the last letter of your alphabet? Well, in that case, you start over again. You put uh, A after Z and then uh, you go one step ahead so that X will be replaced by A. So using this simple method, it is possible to transform your message into 
an ununderstandable form so in this case the message secret which alice is trying to send to bob will get transformed to something like this which i can't even read so even if rob manages to get hold of this message there is no problem because uh, he cannot read it but there's a problem how will bob read the message because it's not understandable to bob too so what alice uh, will have to do is she'll have to tell bob that uh, she has used the caesar cipher and she's used a key of 3 key meaning the number or the input that was necessary to transform the message in this case we shifted all letters by three places and so uh, the key happens to be 3 but here is the problem uh, rob the robber <laughs> can easily capture the key as well and then he can reverse engineer uh, the message and read the secret which defeats the purpose of encryption so this is an example where the key that was used to lock is the same as the key that was used to unlock so the key that was used to encrypt is the same as the key used to decrypt and this uh, is called symmetric encryption and this method is not suitable for communication over internet so what exactly is suitable well uh, there is a slight change in the new way of doing things or a rather a major change in way of doing things what happens now is that bob will generate two keys instead of one key that existed earlier bob uses two keys one is called the public key and the other is called private key so what alice will do is she'll take her document or communication and she will encrypt it okay using bob's public key and she will transfer this encrypted document over the internet so even if rob the robber catches it rob will not be able to make sense now here is the beauty of this uh, approach of encryption once the document has reached bob only bob's corresponding private key can change it to normal form and so long as bob has safely protected and guarded Uh, the private key he is fine okay so as long as rob does not hold the private key he cannot make sense of the encrypted message that alice has sent to bob so this uh, is a method where the key to lock is not the same as the key to unlock in other words the encryption key is not the same as decryption key and this is what we call the asymmetric method and this is the method of communication that is suitable for the internet so let's quickly summarize what i have been trying to say uh data privacy is extremely important do not neglect understanding this concept the only and the main method of keeping your data safe is encryption and there are two types of encryptions one is symmetric where the key which locks is the same as the key which unlocks and asymmetric where the key which locks is not the same but there is a separate key a pair key uh, which unlocks uh, the lock so that is the basic uh, method by which all communication over the internet is encrypted in the future videos we will come back to encryption and we will see how it is used for a variety of reasons thank you